Hi, my name is Atje. Um, you're on the rooftop of Pact, a very unique urban farming project with uh, about 200 rooftop farmers. And we teach them how to grow their food and connect them back to the local farmers around uh, the city of Antwerp. So I will show you around. <music> creating an urban farming project on the roof together with uh, about 200 rooftop farmers. Uh, these are our members, we teach them how to grow food in the city, uh, but they can also use it as their shared garden uh, to come and relax, uh, to harvest, uh, to feed the chicken uh, and so on. Uh, the idea is really to show them that it's not complicated to produce food in the city and to reconnect people with the origin of their food. So we also work together with uh, local farmers surrounding uh, Antwerp and they uh, deliver their vegetables to restaurants in Antwerp. So we create also a platform uh, for these farmers. If we would have to gain an income only by selling the vegetables, it would be insufficient. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we're not selling the produce from the roof. We're selling the produce from the farmers outside the city. And they use this project as a platform to promote their vegetables. Uh, in that way, we create a kind of a local food hub. You have the people getting inspired here on the rooftop. We teach them, we educate them about sustainable local farming. And the farmers from outside the city, they can join us and use this project to sell their produce. Pact is a very unique uh, spot in Antwerp. Uh, we're standing on the buildings of it right now. Uh, in the buildings you have different entrepreneurs, um, uh, you have some interesting bars, uh, there's a pizzeria, um, there's a coffee roastery, uh, even a microbrewery, so really different uh, businesses coming together uh, to create this nice uh, ecosystem. Uh, where people can come to relax, to work, to enjoy foods and even produce uh, it on the roofs. So the idea is really to create a productive ecosystem. Productive means we're growing food, vegetables, fruits. Uh, we have eggs, we have chicken, we have fish, we have bees to produce the honey. And the ecosystem, well, that this basically means that uh, we try to keep as much water in the cycle, uh, to use as less electricity as possible and all the leftovers go on the compost and are coming back into the nutrient cycle of the roof. So that's really a closed ecosystem that we're trying to uh, conceive. Yes, yeah, so everything that uh, we developed here on the roof is based on really simple farmer's knowledge. And so what do you need to grow food is nutrients and water and of course the sun, but the sun we have enough. Uh, but water of course is a very uh, big issue on, on a roof. Eh? Uh, how are we going to collect enough water to be able to grow food? Because everything that you uh, grow in one season and eat every season, it asks a lot, a lot of nutrients and a lot of water. Uh, so in total, we collect about 200,000 liters of rainwater. Um, in the first four seasons, which were very dry seasons, it was merely enough. So you really need a lot of water. Uh, so on the whole surface, the rain goes uh, down to a big basin under the soil and we use pumps to get it back on the roof. 
Um, but we also have a very uh, nice system that you see here. These are the bins in which we grow the vegetables. So all the, the borders and the bins uh, that you see a bit everywhere on the roof are uh, basically um, made by recycled uh, industrial bins. Um, half of it is full of soil and there's a, a hole in it where we put a thick tissue which goes down to the, the lowest basin uh, and this tissue works as a wick so all the water falls in the uh, basin underneath and the wick when it's too dry here is going to suck the water back up so it's basically how the the root of a plant work uh, and we've adapted it uh, a bit on this uh, size of the bin. So that's how we collect about 100,000 liter of rainwater uh, in the bins on the roof. Yeah. Here we have the, the chicken castle. <laughs> it's overgrown with hop, so they have uh, enough shade as well on the roof. And we have the small ones as well now. And we have also the compost. We use uh, hay bales to grow food on the places where uh, the roofs are, can't bear enough weight. Eh? Uh, because we have very old roofs eh, uh, of the warehouses and they can't all bear the same weight. The hay bales, we um, use this technique. We found it from uh, some Eastern European countries, but also the Aztecs already adapted these kind of techniques to grow food. Um, it's very interesting for rooftops because it doesn't weigh anything and it doesn't cost you anything, but you need a lot of water. So it's always a bit looking for a good balance. But for us, the hay bales are really like the, the building block that we need to keep uh, everything up and running. So after uh, a couple of weeks, uh, the temperature will be stable and it's ready to plant. So you just open the bale and you put the plants. It's simple. Uh, and you'll see after a couple of months that it will become really like fertile compost, full of life, organic material. So after one season of growing the vegetables, we use them to enrich uh, the soil that we use on the rest of the rooftop. This is a cola plant. You need to smell it. It's like Coca-Cola, actually. So. And, uh, and really, everything is recycled. So we use the uh, the bags of the uh, coffee beans of the roastery downstairs, um, and also for the the chicken and the mulch, we use the 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 peels of the beans as well. Yeah. This is the greenhouse. It used to be full of tomatoes and zucchinis, uh, uh, but we've adapted it a little bit uh, because of our members. They were asking for more indoor space to come together uh, in winter time as well. Uh, so we've changed it in a meeting room, indoor, outdoor. Uh, and now we can also offer professional membership to companies that can uh, use this area during the working days as a meeting room to come together, have lunch, uh, meet with a business partner or something to have like a really inspiring environment. Yeah. Well, this is not our part of the roof. So the urban farmers have like 80% of the surface of all the roofs uh, together. It's three roofs connected with uh, bridges and this part from uh, the stairs to the up to the bridge is about 200 square meters and it's used by the Jane which is a famous uh, Michelin uh, restaurant just uh, next to Pact. They train their chefs to come and harvest all the edible flowers and the herbs for the restaurant. Mm -hmm. salad plant. 
plant. Um, you can use it in salads. It's a perennial, so we use a lot of um, plants that are edible, but not really known to people. So they're also part of the education pr uh, process. So we put the name on it, uh, so people can get to know uh, what they are, because they're not really familiar, familiar in the kitchen. There are several advantages for cities, neighborhoods uh, to um, invest in uh, urban farming projects like this. Uh, first of all, I think one of the most uh, evident is that you get more green uh, that you can enjoy of. People become more happy <laughs> when they see only see uh, green like this. Um, but of course, for uh, the climate uh, change, cities face huge, huge challenges. It's even more interesting to realize more projects like this because you can collect much more rainwater, um, you will have uh, less heat, uh, so you have more chances to be able to face all these climate challenges, of course, yeah. And uh, if we're talking about biodiversity, um, yeah, you can see that it's like growing here. I, uh, in the beginning, we had black rooftop, uh, black roofing, uh, very hot in summer, not a single animal. And then now we see each year more animals coming back, like the small singing birds, crickets, uh, and uh, so, yeah, it's really, really becoming an ecosystem, which is um, not only good for the animals, but also for the people enjoying it, of course. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Questions or remarks, post them in the comments down below. If you like our video, just click the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching.